Good afternoon, everyone. All of a sudden, <clears throat> out of nowhere, Prezi has changed in the way that it looks and feels. So this is just to, uh, this short video is just to highlight what those changes are and the biggest and the most important changes that the bubble menu has now gone. Now what you're seeing on screen was the original, what they now call the classic view. And if you ever want to return back to that, they have given us an option. But the new Prezi and the way that it works now looks like this. Now, not really big changes, but everything now is across the top, as you can see. And they've added one or two little things in there just to make it look and feel a bit more different. So, as before, you can add your frames, and they've got this new thing called layouts, which we'll have a quick look at in a moment. You've got your themes, which are all here, which are exactly the same as before. You can customize your current theme, with your theme wizard, exactly like you could before. If we enter out of there, um, add your images from file or from Google Images, exactly the same as before. Um, you have shapes, exactly the same before. You also now have symbols, excuse me, <laughs> and we'll have a look at those in just a moment. Media is your YouTube and adding um, uh, sound files and video files from your computer, and a new way to go in and add um, your PowerPoint presentations. All exactly the same, a couple of new features and we'll have a look at those in a moment. You'll also notice now that the present button, or what we used to know as the start button, is now up in the top left hand corner. Um, you can directly create a new Prezi in a new window simply by clicking the button and you can go on and start to create a new Prezi, just like before. Uh, you can save this Prezi. Um, actually, one thing that's missing here is the autosave feature. So we'll need to have a look at whether autosave uh, is still in play or whether you need to save it manually. Undo and redo is exactly the same as before. Your share button um, allows you to start online and in invite to edit just like before. But now there's a new button there which is share. And share means that you can uh, take it straight to Facebook, to Twitter or to your LinkedIn. Uh, your print is exactly the same before, it'll save as a printable PDF. You now have a settings um, button and note here that you've got the screen ratios uh, 4x3, 16x9 or off. If you do it 4x3 which is a, a normal TV monitor um, you'll see that the path menu remains in place at 4x3 but if you click 16x9 watch your path menu all of a sudden what you see on the screen slightly changes to 16x9. And if you click it off, it will return to its default, which is 4 by 3 You also have the back to classic look. So if you want to go back to the original way of doing Prezi, just simply click on back to classic look, and that will take you back to the original way. Again, getting help with Prezi, there's a button there for you, and you can save and close this Prezi from here. Uh, just seeing what else there is. There's a little button here, which means you can toggle the path menu away. Um, your path menu as well, by the way, isn't here now. The path button is here. So when you click on this, this will start taking you to your paths menu. Um, and your home and your um, plus and your minus zoom in, zoom out buttons are over here. So the functionality hasn't changed. It's just the way that they've placed the buttons. But let's just go and have a look at um, a couple of the other um, features that they've now added, symbols. There are now apparently um, quite a few, uh, somewhere around 200 symbols that we can add onto your Prezi. So I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's just go and find some white space. Uh, so we'll just go to here and we'll add in a shape or a symbol and see what we get. Uh, let's get a, an aeroplane here so we can choose this aeroplane. brings in the aeroplane and it's now so they're now giving you more symbols that you can put into Prezi as well. So that's a great little feature. Um, what symbols are there? Well, there are about 200 through there, so you'll just need to go through and have a look at what you want to use. Uh, bubble um, uh, speech marks and question marks, people, um, ladybirds for some reason, a world symbol. I don't know what the world symbol would look like when it's blown up, but there's new features in there that we can now use 
and also new layouts. Uh, now apparently they've created um, new layouts for us to use. Um, so let's gonna have a look and see if we can see any that are um, fairly good for us to have a look at. Um, maybe this one, um, overcome your overcome a barrier. So you just drag that in. And all they are is they are, they are obviously your shapes. Um, as you can see, it's a locked group at the moment. So let's go in and unlock it. So it's now unlocked. And that's just a square, that's just a line. It's just a bent line. And that is a circle shape. So there are new overlays there for you to use within your Prezi. Um, and I'm sure, again, they keep saying they're going to add more and more, so there'll be more of those available to you in the future. So that's just a glimpse of the new Prezi and how it looks. Um, and now I shall be going to change all the videos to uh, show the new Prezi. So um, thank you for watching. My name is Mark Cooney of Prezitation.co.uk.